It is December 22nd, 2019, which means I only have one day left here in Bali and only a handful left in the year. And 2019, well, it's been amazing. And the point was So I want to share with you guys a story. In fact, I want to share a handful of stories featuring my favorite memories and places from the past year. And some of these will be things you've seen or got glimpses of on the vlog, and then some of them are completely new and just never made it into the videos here. So with that, welcome to the vlog and my last video of 2019. Memory number one, surfing in Santa Teresa, Costa Rica. So waking up every morning, grabbing my board, walking down to the beach, and if I'm gonna be honest, mainly getting my ass kicked by the waves, but having these fleeting moments of brilliance where it's just you, it's just the wave, it's calm, it's peaceful, it's just a special moment. And then afterwards, going to Taco Corner every single day and eating burritos. And then in the evening is going to get margaritas at this place called Drift, which I kid you not, serves the best margaritas ever. So Santa Teresa, Costa Rica, surfing, one of my favorite memories for sure. Also, we can't forget that in Costa Rica, we made a beach dog calendar that some of you actually got. And so if you got one of the beach dog calendars, you're awesome. But yeah, we made a beach dog calendar. Never forget. Memory number two, Stasia getting dengue fever in Puerto Escondido, Mexico. Now, this isn't like a fun, exciting memory, but it's one that I will never forget. Up until this point, I had never seen someone get this sick, like life-threateningly sick. It, without getting too mushy-gushy, it brought Stasia and I closer together in a way that would have never happened in just our day-to-day -day normal lives. Like I had to take care of her and get her better. And we can laugh about it now, but at the time it was this intense moment and one that I'll never forget. Number three, island hopping in Greece. <sighs> Greece. Man, Greece was just insane. spend a week in Santorini, Greece, and because of where we were staying and how long we were staying, we got to do a bunch of stuff that a lot of people who go there just don't get a chance to do, and it was just the perfect way to start the summer. And then after Santorini, we went to this island called Naxos. We got there and it was just the beginning of busy season, and so all the restaurants had just opened, which means we had the island basically to ourselves. And we ended up doing this road trip with our friend, Jean. Road trip! <laughs> and it was spectacular. It was crystal clear blue water and beaches, and it just felt like this moment. that we went to this island called Peros with a bunch of friends and we did this whole boat day and <sighs> I gotta go back soon. Memory number four, being in Lisbon for the busiest party month of the year. Now you don't need an excuse to go to Lisbon in the summer. It's one of my favorite places of all time. It's like the people, the architecture, the food, the food. It's all amazing. But to be there in the busiest party month, and when I say party month, I mean, it is a full on party every single night and the people go hard. And the city encourages it and cleans up after everybody at the end of each evening. It's insane. 
and amazing. And we also had a ton of friends there as well and got to do scooter road trips and yeah, beach days and it was amazing. Going to the world's best water park. After Lisbon, a handful of us went to this island called Tenerife, which is owned by Spain, and it's right off the coast of Africa. They claim to have the best water park in the world. And so, of course, we had to go. It was so much fun. We were like these big kids running around, going on all the rides and so many laughs. It was such a fun day. And it came at the perfect timing too because we'd been on the island for about three weeks and we were all getting a little cabin fever, a little stir crazy. And so we went to the water park and it totally hit the refresh button for us. And it was just one of my favorite memories of the year. Number six, Cappadocia. Now, if I want to be completely honest, I thought Cappadocia, Cappadocia, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but I thought it was going to be totally overplayed because you see it on all the touristy sites and all over Instagram, but I couldn't have been more wrong. It was this amazing, quaint, quiet little town and had the friendliest, such friendly people. And we got to have some really authentic interactions with them. I bought two rugs from this guy who owned this rug shop and he invited us in for tea. We got to talk to him about his country, Turkey, about his business, about social media. And now I have two rugs that I have no idea what I'm gonna do with, but they're amazing and I can't wait to use them. And it was just a great memory. Also, I'd be remiss if I did not mention my orange scarf. Yes, this orange scarf, which got torn to shreds by a dog. We went out early one morning to go watch the balloons go up. And at first it was friendly, but then it kind of turned aggressive. And I put my scarf down to take a photo and he took the scarf and tore to shreds right in front of me. All I wanted to do was scream to the heavens. <laughs> and I don't know if I have a picture of this dog. If I do, I'm gonna put it right here. But I will never forget this dog. Cruising down the Nile in Egypt. Holy crap, Egypt. It's everything you imagine and more. It was a bucket list item, one of those places that you hear about in the history books you grow up learning about, and it lived up to the hype 100%. And this whole trip was booked by our friend Jean, Jean, you've seen her in this video. But unfortunately, tragically, Jean couldn't make it to this trip because her flight got delayed in one spot, which means that she was going to miss the boat and she couldn't come. And Jean, if you're watching this, I know you want me to say that this trip sucked and Egypt was horrible. It's not worth going to. But that couldn't be farther from the truth. Egypt is 100% worth going to. And it was so amazing. But it was hot. We went there in the middle of the summer and it was, it was hot. One of my favorite memories from this year, for sure. Sorry, Jean. And last but not least, Bali. Bali, just one of my favorite places. And I've been here for three or four months, so I'm gonna try to relocate these memories to three. The first one being when Stacey's sister, Chloe, was here. It was so nice to have her. And we did a bunch of exploring while she was here. We went to these islands. We took a weekend trip to Abud. So, Chloe, it was so much fun to have you. Number two, my trip to Komodo. If you haven't watched that video, go watch it. If you have watched that video, you know why. This is one of my favorite memories. And it's one of my favorite side trips of all time. Such an amazing weekend. The scenery in the backdrop of Komodo is breathtaking and showed me a totally different side of Indonesia that I just never seen before. And of course the people I, were with, I was with, they were hilarious. And so Komodo trip, one for the books for sure. And then my last one from Bali is this weekend trip that Stasia and I took that I didn't share with you guys on the, on the vlog, but we went to this town called Sidamin or Sidamin. I'm not sure what, how it's pronounced, but it's on the east side of the island. And it's like Bali in its purest form. Imagine what Bali would have been like 50 years ago before all the tourists, it was just rice fields and people living this simple farmer existence. And then of course the backdrop was this huge volcano called Agung. And all we did there was relax, play cards, jump in the pool, have conversations and talk. 
and it made it for one of my favorite memories of the year, definitely. So there you have it, those are my favorite memories and places from this past year. Went to so many amazing spots, had to hang out with so many amazing people and strangers and eat food, oh my gosh, the food. It's been a great year and I'm glad I got to share with you guys. And that's where I'm gonna end it. So if you've like, oh, and we have 10,000 subscribers. Holy cow, we have 10,000 subscribers. So thank you guys for watching, liking, subscribing, do all in, doing all of those things. That's where I'm gonna end it. The show is over. The vlog is done. I will see you guys in 2020.